All right, everybody, afternoon. It's Cargo Bike Cowboy here. An update on the trailer. So, here she is. It's a three wheel design with a 26 inch wheel on the front. I use the same frame that I used in the previous trailer. That fork from a 26 inch old Trek fit right up in there. Everything was the same. I measured everything. It was all good. Had a 26 inch bolt on steel wheel, which I'm not real fond of, but that's what I got. <clears throat> Wheels got to come apart, bearings and everything got to be cleaned. The little bike frame on the front, all the stickers have to come off. And the frame and the fork have to be painted black. You can see that I got a half inch bolt through there. And then I got that long metal strap. And then down in the bottom, I got two 14, number 14, three inch screws. So I don't think that thing's going anywhere. That half inch bolt is bolted clean through. It's through a two by four and a one by eight. You can see it bolted on down there. And then that strap, it's bolted there through the frame. And then it goes across the frame, across the front of the trailer and it's bolted on each side. I just hit it with some little, a little bit of black paint for that metal because I don't want it to rust. I added those rails, the upper rail. It's really starting to look like an old western wagon, like a Conestoga wagon. Every piece of that metal you see on there, right there, bolted to that. I had to hand cut well, I had a grinder, so I, but I cut every piece to length and drilled every hole in it. That's why there hasn't been an update sooner. Down here, this block, I bolted all the way through into the trailer on each side with a big lag bolt just to stiffen it up. So now it's got to have final sanding. It's got to have be sanded. And then it's got to be painted with some good exterior paint. I also discovered why my wheel on this side is leaning in. It's because one of my plates is off. So I have to get another plate, make a new plate, and attach it. And then my wheel will look like this. I'm, I'm off center on with my plate. I need a new plate, and I don't have one right now. So I'm going to go pick one up on my way home today. And next time I'm over here, I'll make the new plate and attach it. And then my wheels will sit straight now the front tire is flat right now because i forgot my air pump but if i did everything correctly when i air that tire up what will happen is this trailer will have a slight pitch towards the back it'll pitch downward a little bit and the reason i did that is because if, if i'm out and it's raining if i don't decide to build a cover for it if it's raining the water will run down and i'm going to drill in the very back two weep holes for water to come out so that's where we're at right now so there she is and she will roll but that tire that big swabble big apple tire is rubbing because of the lean in it so i don't want to wheel it around right at this moment but i promise you i wheeled it out here and i'm going to wheel it back in but as soon as i get that tire straight and some air in this tire then i got to build the hitch for the front where, and then I got to build the hitch where it'll attach, attach to the big dummy and paint it and she should be good to go she should be ready for some loading up and some some rolling around so there's my update just give you a walk all the way around to here one time all right So there's where we're at today. Y'all be careful, have a good time, and ride safe.